This could be drama, people. Oh, to be honest, well, I know I completely forgot about it until last, last night. night. That explains it then. At the cocktail party. That's... I was like, oh, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. I've been waiting for this Married at First Sight commitment ceremony since we've been shown the preview for tonight's episode. So, let's get to it. I do feel sorry for Dom. And I just wonder how she was feeling. Dom is feeling really deflated and humiliated, which is so understandable. She is talking about the night's event with Jack. Talking about it behind my back. It was painful and it was quite humiliating. Meanwhile, Olivia thinks Jack and Dom are fun suckers of the group. Okay, let's not go crazy. I really, like, I couldn't give two shits. Loosely translated, Olivia's plan backfired, and she needs someone to just stop talking about the photo she initially circulated a few days ago, and that would just be great. Please, God, please make that happen. Cody is giving Selena flowers to say sorry for his behavior at the dinner party. Selena is proud of him, but wait, shouldn't he also apologize to Dom? Yes! Thanks for my flowers. <laughs> so sweet. You're welcome. Two hours later. I'm still very confused. I'm very hurt. Mm -hmm. And there's things that I, I want to find out. Dominica is feeling confused about Olivia's story and wants to find out right now where she found the photos. You see, Liv claimed her friend googled Dominica after Dominica broke a glass in her face. But why would you get a friend to google for you when Google is right there for you to use on your closest device? Doesn't make sense. Dom knocks on Olivia's door and Liv answers to greet her with a very enthusiastic Hello. How are you? Um, that's irrelevant. This could be drama, people. Oh, to be honest, well, I know I completely forgot about it until last, last night. night. That explains it then. At the cocktail party. That's... I was like, oh, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. It wasn't a big deal. It's been completely blown up. Why does it have to be like this? So why was it a big deal last night? Why I was... don't know. It... A good spy never gets caught. I'm just as shocked as you are. The horror! The horror! You're just as shocked as... I am. Well, probably not. That was a bad way to phrase it, but, like, shocked. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Do you not see this as, like, high school, like, bullshit, bullying, like, circulating images, circulating gossip about people? That's my specialty, Nat, liking stuff. Like, do you not see it like that? I don't need this, actually. Please, please, please. I need you to come to my house and yell at me. It's fine. Go have fun. I'm, I'm yelling, am I? I regret nothing. The end. Live. Then slams the door in Dominica's face because she doesn't need this. To clarify, Dom didn't yell. She isn't in your house, and this is not a rampage. He brought me flowers. Oh, that's so and he nice. thought of it by himself. As the couple starts deliberating about their decision before the commitment ceremony, it becomes clear that Al thinks he went on a date with Sam, and Jackson suggests that Al thinks about Sam's feelings. Oh man, stressful times, I tell ya. Am I doing the right thing? Dominica and Jack are up first at the commitment ceremony couch. Dominica confirms she's unsure if it was one photo or multiple photos that the group has seen. To be honest with you, I don't know if it was one photo or a couple of photos of me. The photos came from Olivia or Olivia's friend, I'm not 100% sure still. And from there, I'm actually unsure as to where it went, but I would like to know. Dom thinks that the intent behind the sharing of the photo was malicious. It definitely was. Um, guilty. I do feel like there was malicious intent there. And it was gossip intended to hurt either me or Jack. Olivia, you were the person that first came across the photo. Can you tell us how you came about finding it? And okay, that's a very good question. No one seems to be acknowledging that Liv initially told everyone she googled Dom and found the photo, but now she's saying that her friend googled Dom and when the stakes are high, we simply must know the facts. John says 
what would possess her to distribute the photo, trying to highlight that it is an awful coincidence that the person who sent the photo also hates Dominica more than anyone in the whole wide world. Liv says, Because, I don't, I don't know. Sudden amnesia. Hmm? Sudden amnesia. I want to zoom in or something? Like, why, why was it sent? What would possess you to send a photo to someone else? That's a very easy question and you can't give me an answer. Olivia maintains it was a nothing moment and not a big deal. She thinks the reason Dom is upset is because... Because I didn't think it was a big deal. Say that honestly, I feel like it's being poo-pooed. Uh, what? It's being poo-pooed. Um, what? Poo-pooed. Uh, what? Yeah. Poo-pooed. In my head, I feel like she's only upset that we were talking about it behind her back because that means that she's lost control of the group. God, please, no! So it's I don't really... think that's the point at all. Dom explains she went to Olivia's to get answers prior to the commitment ceremony. Liv says Dom went on a rampage. I went on a rampage. Went on? And started yelling at her. And Jack is laughing at Olivia's warped version of reality. You're probably just used to it, Jack. The horror! The horror! Dom confirms she wanted to write leave because she doesn't want to be in the experiment anymore and that is very understandable because what's happening to her is not fair they both write stay because they love each other side note i was underwhelmed by the married at first sight experts grilling over this situation but let's wait to see what's in store when olivia gets on the couch who's next Next is Selena and Cody. Selena was able to decode the Cody code thanks to a visit to Uncle John. She is happy that Cody looks at her and that he got her flowers and that she feels equal to him in the relationship now. They both write stay. I've chosen to write stay. I put the little kisses on it. Is Ella and Mitch? Mel asked Mitch if he could see himself living in Melbourne. He says, I, I, I don't see myself living in Melbourne, to be completely honest. Mel states the obvious and tells them that they need a plan for their long distance relationship. After revealing their plans, they both write down. Moving on. Next up is Tam Tam and Brent. Tamara says Brent has way more OCD than her. We learn that Tamara is a messy croissant eater, which is a forbidden act on Brent's couch. All in all, they had a good week, so they both choose to stay. The thing about you two is that you try. You know, we've given you some pretty tough feedback at times, and you've never thrown it in. You've just rolled the sleeves up, and you've worked. Sam and Al are next up. Sam loved seeing the playful side of Al. Um, thought she disapproved of his playful side, but whatever. Just tell me the truth. Al wants to be more than friends, so he feels sad his master plan didn't work out. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I obviously had feelings for Sam. I've never caught feelings before. You know, Sam's been such an amazing wife. So I still really care about her and consider where Sam's feelings are at. He writes leave because he knows that's what Sam wants. She also wrote, leave. This is awkward. <laughs> Not you're awkward, but just because we're, I'm awkward. Finally, Jackson and Olivia are up on the couch. Jackson says homestays were amazing, even though he was criticized for looking after his physical and mental well-being. He also says that he understands how Dominica is feeling. Really? You do? That's a whole lie, but go on. Like, obviously, that's probably bad. It's probably bad. It's probably bad. Close enough. It is bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Close enough. Olivia says that the situation is bringing her and Jackson closer. John calls BS and says it's 100% affecting their relationship. And that they look miserable, which they do. Miserable? We're not miserable with each other. I'm uh. miserable with this situation. She's consistently on the verge of tears having to live in this drama and that she keeps getting pulled back into it. Mel reminds Olivia that she is the drama, thanks Mel, and that she spoke to all the girls about the photo ahead of the dinner party. 
Shoot, mm, so that's something I didn't know. I was a part of a conversation with Tamara and Selena, and they were talking about how they were going to bring it up with Dominica. And I was just like, none of my business. Things are going very well. Alessandra says there is room for human empathy from Liv and that she could apologize. Instead of taking that moment and just, even if she doesn't mean it, and just apologize. And it's disheartening that you wouldn't want to own up to that. It just wasn't a big deal and it's been blown up. I regret nothing. The end. Telling us last week that you hold grudges. We've heard about this in different occasions from you. So it seems very clear that there's a grudge that's being dragged around here for you. Liv says she has no empathy. As far as empathy, I just don't have it. It's just not in me. Oh, <laughs> hell no! I think that lack of, em of empathy probably had a lot to do with you choosing to show the picture. That's how you do it. Olivia is in a really bad mood now and starts unleashing the waterworks. Luckily for her, Jackson has empathy. It's a disaster! Jackson still thinks Olivia is an amazing person. Wow. Lives head over heels and sees her future in him. They both choose to stay and were you also underwhelmed with the expert's response to the whole matter? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. This could be drama, people. Oh, to be honest, well, I, no, I completely forgot about it until last, last night. night. That explains it then. At the cocktail party. That's... I was like, oh yeah. I hadn't thought about that. It wasn't a big deal. It's been completely blown up. Why does it have to be like this? So why was it a big deal last night? Why I was... don't know. A good spy never gets caught. I'm just as shocked as you are. The horror! The horror! You're just as shocked as I am. Well, probably not. That was a bad way to phrase it, but like, shocked. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Do you not see this as like high school, like bullshit, bullying, like circulating images, circulating gossip about people? That's and my specialty, not liking stuff. Like, do you not see it like that? I don't need this, actually. Please, please, please. I need you to come to my house and yell at me. It's fine. Go have fun. I'm, I'm yelling, am I? I regret nothing. The end.